My name's Tom Curry, and this is my backstory. Yeah, this is nice. I remember there was a big group of like young people, young people. Um, yeah, we were all like 18, 19. We came through like the under 18s, 20s together. We've got Nick Ezekwe with his big afro. Uh, Joe Cock and Zine, obviously, me, me, me and my brother. And uh, under, so we had a really good group of young lads, which made it a lot easier for us. I got a phone call at like a family dinner. And I got a phone call from Dylan Hartley, the captain at the time, and he was kind of, laying down the ground rules and I remember thinking this is going to be another level um, but like when you see all the other guys and like mates you know having my brother in there that made it a lot easier for me um, but yeah especially going to, into your into your debut I think you can see it in my face there I don't know what I was thinking um, all sorts first I think that was one of my first carries at international rugby <laughs> getting smoked <laughs> um, but no that was a really cool day like really proud moment this, this memory brings back a few different kind of emotions for me, I think. I think first and foremost, I was really proud. I remember really vividly, kind of we knew someone was going to be captain. Um, we had a pretty good leadership group anyway um, that I'd been involved in before. Um, you know, like Ellis Genge, Courtney Laws, um, obviously Owen Farrell. I think Henry Slade was there at the time. Um, so we had a good group, like we all spoke a lot, we had loads of meetings, so we all knew what the crack was. And I think Owen, Owen must have been injured and Courtney must have been injured as well. So kind of we were preparing to, to step up and, and this was the Six Nations. And we had a, we had a bit of a meeting, but I remember I got a text from Eddie and that usually means two things. It's either really good or really bad. Um, so that, that kind of got me an edge and then he brought me into his office and and asked me if I was ready to do it, and I said, yeah. But yeah, it didn't go It didn't go to plan, I'm not gonna lie. It, to be fair, it was doomed from the start, because I remember we were running out, and usually you have to like line up next to each other. Um, kind of the referees will be on the halfway, and we'll be like probably like a metre. But for some reason, and I think this is probably like, it's like OCD kicking in, I had to stand on the 15 metre line. So if you look back on the footage, it's really awkward, because Scotland and the referees are close. And then we're kind of like, all the way over here and like half the team aren't even on the screen because we're so far away um, so yeah that was that wasn't a great start I'm not gonna lie yeah this I, lo I love this clip it's the um, there's a lot to this actually because it was the COVID uh, as a COVID um, Lions tour I remember we were sat on the plane I don't know if anyone we were sat on the plane on the runway this is to go out to South Africa I think we went to Jersey first but to actually go out to South Africa we were stuck on the runway for about an hour, hour and a half, because they hadn't got the authority yet from the South African government, or they were umming and ahhing still about us coming. Um, so that wasn't a great start. Um, and then in Jersey, I pulled, I managed to, I was doing bench press with Carl Sinclair, and it, that was a big learning lesson, not to try and do bench press with the front rower, because I ended up pulling my pec. So I thought the whole thing was over, so it was, that was a bad start. There's a bit of a theme with these clips. <laughs> They all turn out well in the end, um, but yeah, I had a, I pulled my chest, so I wasn't able to play in, I think it was probably like the first two or three games, so this was, I think this was my first ever appearance, I came off the bench, and I remember thinking, thank God, because before this game, the whole tour was almost cancelled, um, but to get a bit nauseous about this clip, I remember it was, it was a big work on for me, I'll go through. <laughs> It was a big work on for me in terms of anticipating the ball. You get kind of in football, like you, Messi's really good at it in terms of anticipating the next play. Um, you know, he won't necessarily run everywhere or sprint everywhere, but he will be in the right position at the right time. And I remember thinking, kind of adding that to my game. It's a bit like a scrum half running down the middle and kind of anticipating the line breaks. As he goes, I keep sprinting with it up here. Instead of stop, usually I'd probably just stop and then set back over here. But I remember thinking, just like, carry on running. Anyway, end up making a line break. And I, I just forest gump it all the way. <laughs> and this is funny, because I just don't stop. I, no one, they don't let me forget it, but I just didn't stop. I remember thinking, as soon as I had that ball, I, nothing else mattered. I was just like sprinting, even if they're like 15, 20 metres ahead, uh, behind. Just sprinted all the way. You can tell I don't score many tries. <laughs> that needs a bit of practice. I just love going back to South Africa. I love playing against them. I think they're so physical and I love the way they play. 
Um, so for me, that, that was a really special, special tour. <laughs> it's always the haircuts. <laughs> um, yeah, so a bit of context. I think we've, or well, you can see, we were given a rugby ball straight out of birth. Um, it's a polite way to put it. Um, you know, we, whenever I say we, I always talk about me and my brother because it's always kind of been us two. It's quite hard to say I. Um, but yeah, we, at the age of three, started rugby um, down at London Grasshoppers in London. Um, and we've been playing ever since. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool memories, especially, you know, having an identical twin and doing it with him. Our sister was very supportive as well. Uh, she tried to play rugby, that didn't quite work out for her. Um, she got knocked out, I think, her first ever try, so she didn't give it much of a go. Um, but yeah, we played football as well, as you can see, I think. Even with the even with those haircuts, we were pretty fresh back then. Ben obviously cut his hair himself. Um, but I remember our dad, he had to take us. Um, I don't know if we were playing, or we might just be training. Anyway, um, he took us, because they weren't allowed photos in these shirts. I don't know if these were like new city shirts or they weren't out yet. But anyway, they said no photos. So my dad being my dad and um, thinking he's uh, he can do anything. He rushed us into the toilets and, and quickly got a, a little snap and, and, and that's that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice memories. Oh yeah, me and my brother, we, we're, way, we're, we're way better now actually. We used to be hell to each other. Uh, we play a lot of garden cricket. Yeah, garden, yeah, cricket in the garden. And we just end up locking each other out of the house if one of us would win because we kind of, we do a test match format. Um, we got in very into it, like a bit too into that, to the point where we had a ladder at the end of the garden and we stick um, one of those big, one of those cameras onto the ladder and then it'd be like a, I don't know what they, Hawkeye in cricket, like VAR, and if we do LBs and if any, there, there was any doubt, this is how competitive we got, if there was any doubt we'd, we'd refer back to the camera, rewind it and see if it was actually out, so that actually saved us a lot of arguing, um, but yeah we were very, very competitive with each other but I think that's kind of what's helped us out now like we've dialed it down and especially like playing professional sports now in the same position like both being flankers I think we help each other out a lot now um, especially early days when um, it was just us two in our year coming through and there wasn't really many other people to speak to um, we had our mentors and stuff like that like the coaches but I think to have each other to speak to and kind of talk about little nuances in the game, um, how we want to train, you know, we train with each other, we go to the gym, you know, if one go to the gym, the other would have to go to the gym. So we, we, we really pushed each other um, to the point where it's very healthy now. And I love playing with them, I think. When we get to play together, I think it adds it adds something, I think. It's not tele, tele, telepathy? Telepathy. It's nothing like that, I get asked that a lot. But it's just, I think, because we've grown up with each other and we, we know what each other are like and I, th I think we, we help each other out a lot. Um, so yeah, I love playing with them. As you can see here. <laughs> the haircuts have got better. I'm Tom Curry and this has been my backstory.